Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, we're up to 137 subscribers. You believe that? I can't believe that. Can't believe it at all. But we are, and I am so happy. Welcome new subscribers. We've got several more over the last couple days, and that is awesome great. And we'd like to say welcome to all the new subscribers. So hello guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you stick around. And today we'll be carving cheesy Christmas tree ornaments. Yay! Okay. This is a piece of cottonwood bark. Cottonwood bark comes from Canada. Came from Jordy. <whistles> Landed in my door yard. Okay, so Jordy, thank you for the cottonwood bark. In case you don't know, Jordy is from Carving Shoot Carving Fusion. He is the master controller of that channel. He's the builder, the maker, and the creator of Carbon Fusion. Awesome guy, Jordy. Heart of gold he has. Okay? So let's get carving these Christmas trees. Tommy64, this is for you, buddy. I've been promising you a knife only carving, and that's what we're going to do today. Whittle. And anybody with a Dremel? Feel free to follow along. It's not going to be hard. Definitely beginner's project right here, guys. Okay, um, so let's get down there and start carving. We're going to try keeping these videos about 15 minutes long, guys. Jordy keeps telling me my videos are way too long. 30 minutes is too long. So here we go. 15 minutes. Okay, this happens to be a piece of basswood, guys. The basswood, the piece I'm working with. Let's get out the measuring implement. Originally started out at two and a half inches wide and five and a half inches long. Okay. Now all I did, put in a center line. Always with the center lines. Drew in the center line. And I bought it down to where I wanted the bottom of my tree. My trunk is an inch and a half long. The tree trunk is an inch and a half long. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay. Um, so from that point, I came from here down four and a half inches. Off my center line, I drew in the bottom of my tree, okay? Very easy. I have a bandsaw, so I cuffed it out with a bandsaw, but you guys with a Dremel or a knife, easy enough, just bring it down. This piece is only half inch wide. It's only half inch thick here. Okay, so from the center line, what we do is we came down a quarter, uh, eighth of an inch on this because it's only half inch thick the thicker stuff like this would probably would be uh probably three eighths of an inch because we have to put our center line in like this put our center line in like that and this piece was cut a little so he's gonna be leaning back okay so yeah this piece here is uh three quarters of an inch thick so we would come a quarter of an inch in because we want to leave this a little bit thick in the middle. So you want a quarter, a quarter, and then a quarter in the middle. So that you don't snap your little branches off when we get to carving them. Okay? And then you got your center line going down the middle here. Like that. Down the center. Now, the reason why we put in this line is because we are going to carve from the center to that side line. And what we're trying to do is meet this line with this line, okay? And that's going to give us the overall shape of our tree. Oh, if you're going to use this as a Christmas ornament, before you guys cut this V shape out, go ahead and drill your little hole for your, your hook. Go ahead and drill that first because it'd be a real booger to drill that hole into a point. So you might as well drill it when it's still a square block of wood, okay? Um, I got this idea 
a couple years ago from uh, Doug Linker or uh, Doug Outdoors, but he's changed his name to Doug Linker. He was Doug Outdoors. Now he's Doug Linker. Okay. A uh, cute little Christmas tree ornament, or you can just have it, you know, sit on your shelf. You know, however you want to do it. I'm changing it up a little bit to my style. You know, all carvers have their own style of carving. And this is just mine. So we're going to take all of that, that, all that down. Oh, see, our, our knife blade's grabbing, so we got to turn the piece around. That means our grain has changed and don't do what I just did don't go super deep before you realize it you'll know it right away you'll feel it grabbing okay so we take it down to that line that we drew in there uh, due to time restrictions I've already have taken this one down but you guys can get the get the idea you want to go from the center out to that this was an eighth inch line because this is only half inch thick, right? And you can see how it has narrowed it down, made it more like a, uh, I don't know, more like a wing, I guess. Okay. You see this line here? We still got to take down this a little bit more. Now, this is the backside, guys. So, I mean, we're not, it don't have to be perfect. This has to be what you like, right? I mean, there's some things that you might get out of this that you're like, I don't like that. Well, then don't do it. Do it uh, Do it your way. That's what it's all about. Having fun. Carving. You know, that's like uh, those Christmas trees that Jordy was making. Everybody took their own, uh, their own way on them. Okay. Uh, mine, I'm putting little feet on mine on the bottom. He's a wandering tree. So, all I did is draw little feet on him. Take your knife, go around that line. Or V tool, whatever you got, whatever you want to use. Or Dremel. You guys with the Dremels are probably outpacing me by now. Okay. And it don't have to be super deep. I mean, my feet, I'm not going to put them in super deep. Basically, it's just a little, a little giggle. Because trees don't have feet, they have roots. But you never know, this may be a wandering yew tree, Jordy. Wandering yew tree. That's Y-E-W, not you. The magical tree, home of the fairies. Our buddy Bap has them. Ooh, spider. He carves you tree. Over there, I think he's in Ireland. Ireland he is. Having his Christmas haggis. No, we were we were joking last night on uh, Jordy's live chat. He's having tacos. Uh, bat, I can carve. Check them out. Okay, that's a YouTube channel. I can carve. It's spelled with a K. Both of them. I can. K A N I K A N. Carve. K A R V E. So check them out. Nice guy. See that wood? It changed direction on me again. It just amazes me at how much wood, in one piece of wood, even a little piece like this, that wood green can change back and forth so quickly. And it can change from cut to cut. It don't have to be like, oh, well, this is running the other way. You could be carving along and all of a sudden it's like uh, it's changing from face wood. I can't remember what Jordy called the other side of the wood. Face wood and grain. Face wood and 
grade woods, I guess? I don't remember. That's right. Can't remember. Got CRS. Can't remember shit. Some days I'm lucky I can remember my name. So that we just carved them little feet. And they're not deep. They don't got to be deep. Now, the thicker wood you got, if you want to put feet on them, of course you can make them a whole lot deeper. But since we're only dealing with like a half inch piece of wood here, uh, we start getting things too thin and things start snapping off. And I really don't feel like messing with the glue today. Sicker than a dog yesterday. Couldn't even make it out here to carve. If I can't make it out to the shop to carve, you can bet I'm sick. Yes, it's that time of year, guys. Everybody's getting uh, getting something, it seems like. That's why I try staying away from the stores and stuff this time of year. Yeah, right. It's Christmas time. How am I going to stay away from the store? Amazon, people. Amazon. No, I am not sponsored or affiliated with Amazon. Although, with as much stuff as I have bought from Amazon, I should be. See that? Our feet are not that deep into this, guys. They're just there to say they're there so that you can see they're there. And then we'll come back and we'll just round them off a little bit. I mean, you can put your feet in as deep as you want. Uh, I got to watch that green, that in green there, guys. I mean, you can start getting up there by the edge of that wood. It wants to spall off on you. So when you're making those cuts down there by the, the end of the wood there, just watch it a little bit because it likes to likes to flake off. And this is basswood. This is not cottonwood bark. Imagine the cottonwood bark is even a, a little more fussy because it's uh, it's it's uh, shaley shaley. That's what Jordy calls it shaley. But uh, we took this piece of cottonwood bark and ran it through our bandsaw. Here's the piece that we we took off of it. I was looking at this uh, cottonwood bark here, and I could see that there's some big splits in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I know that that's going to, if I start carving into that, it would just chunk right off. So we went ahead and uh, took the bottom piece because it's wider and bigger. So we took the bottom piece. Not to worry though, we will be carving a wood spear or wizard into this piece here. Small guy, but we're going to do it. Everybody watched Jordy's live feed last night. He made a uh, emoji head guy, you know, the poop guy. Uh, he made an emoji in, uh, emoji poop guy head, shit head guy. Funny. He does some funny stuff. So we might have to counter Jordy's emoji guy with a smiley face emoji guy. What do you think? Leave a comment. Poor Jordy, I think he's got a cold too. He's working on it anyway. Anybody that's had a cold knows that colds are not fun. They might get you out of day of work. But the suffering you got to do with that, I think I'd rather go to work. I went to work one day and my boss said, Man, why are you here? You're so sick. What are you doing here? Take a sick day. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't want to take a sick day. 
He's like, you need to go home, take a sick day. I'm like, no, I want to save my sick days for when it's nice out. He just looked at me. What do you mean for when it's nice out? I want to use my sick days when I'm sick. I want to use them to go fishing. <laughs> he sent me home. I was sicker than a dog. I shouldn't have been there. So we're just working these feet, just using a, a little V cut, some pairing cuts, some push cuts. This is a push cut. In case you're wondering, you use your thumb against the blade and push it. That. Push cut. Stop cut right there. Just go straight down, push in, stop cut. We'll do another stop cut over on this side. Like that. Wow, that's 10 minutes already. Jeez, where does the time go? We're having so much fun. Going to use a, we're just going to go down here and push in a little bit. Clean that up a little bit there. There. Now our guy's got feet. Okay. So, the next move is we're going to put a nose. That's why we need our center line here to try keeping it about even, guys. I think it's about halfway up the tree. You want to be kind of in the fatter part of the tree. We're going to put a big old nose. Something like that. that big old nose right in there and we're going to do the same thing we're going to come we're going to plunge our knife in and we're going to cut out the nose stay to the outside of your lines Use a, a medium pressure. Don't you don't want to press real hard because this is thin wood. And if you got carving gloves, guys, please please use them. Uh, when I'm not carving on camera, I am always wearing my carving glove. The only reason I don't wear it on camera is because they're so so big you couldn't see what I was doing. Okay, so. We cut our nose in. Now we're going to come in here. We're going to use our longer blade. And we're just going to work around that nose. Pay attention to the direction of your wood, guys. Because this piece is so thin. We're not going to get very much depth on this nose, okay? So let you know that. Uh, you guys that are using like a piece of 2x4 or something, it don't matter what kind of wood it is. Um, just try picking a place in your 2x4 that doesn't have a big knot. Because uh, with a Dremel, it don't really care. I mean, it will struggle a little bit through the knot. But with carving knives and, and knots, not a good deal. I was carving a piece of, uh, I think it was maple, and it had a knot, and it actually rolled the edge of my knife. That's how hard that knot was. That was the day I found out knots and carving knives don't go together. It took me like an hour to get that rollover off that knife blade. I don't have an electric strop or anything. I have a hand strop that I use took a piece of oak and an old leather belt I had 
and I glued it to the piece of uh, oak. So I made sure the oak was nice and flat and basically that's what I used to sharpen the knife. That and uh, it's a lapping compound. LAP compound. You can get it in different grits. This is something like 4,000 grit lapping compound. And you just run your blade down it. Make sure you hold the uh, the same angle as your blade. Okay, That's how I sharpen them. Now, if they get, get way too dull and the strop isn't doing it, I've got a diamond stone that I resharpen this angle with. And then it goes back to the strop to be get that mirror finish on it. Some guys like using uh, sandpaper, you know, wet paper, wet, wet, real, the highest grit wet paper you can get. I think uh, the highest I've seen was something like uh, 3,000 grit. But you can work it down, you know, start out with, probably start out with like 220. Unless you, you really got your knife rolled, then start off at like 100 grit. And uh, put it on a good flat surface. Sharpen it. Keep You got to keep that the same angle. You can't keep changing your angles. That's how it gets dull from using the strop. Is because if you don't keep the angle, it'll actually roll. Put a third angle on that blade and roll it. And then you got to go remove, get it back flat again. That's where the diamond stone comes in. But if you're, uh, yeah... If all you got access to is sandpaper, then uh, start off with like 100 or 150, 120, something like that, and get your knife blade sharp. And even though you think it's sharp, it's not sharp yet, then move up to higher and higher grits paper. And once you get that, once you get that mirror finish going on it, then you know you're getting somewhere. Okay, that's our 15 minutes, guys. Remember, just carve. Share, subscribe, like. Check out I, I Can Carve. Check out Jordy Johnson over there at Carving Fusion. Both of them are good guys. And we'll be back.